Hello everyone, welcome again to Onish Tutor on the UI Path. In this session, I will explain you about UI Path Task Capture Best Practices. So whenever we are talking about UI Path Task Capture, it's always required to set in mind that we have to use best practices, which is already used and certified by several experienced owner. So task capture is a versatile and simple to use tools that provides the best methods to capture and export process map diagrams. To fully benefit from using these tools, we can rely on the best practice recommendations by experts. So before continuing with today's session, let's understand today's agenda, what we will discuss today and then proceed with further part. And the important part, if you are really interested to learn about several other interesting topics on UiPath. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and kindly support this channel by giving your like thumbs up. So today's agenda will discuss here task capture process creation method, how recording the actions and documenting the sequence for how to efficiently manage the recorded action and finally, we'll discuss how to handle sensitive data. So let's begin with actual part. So task capture process creation method is divided into two parts. One is create diagram and second is capture process. So to start capturing the process action, first choose a suitable way. We want to create the process map. So creating the process manually using the create diagram options and then capture the relevant actions. Second is automatically capture the process while we perform the task and let task capture create the map automatically by choosing task capture process options. So when selecting the suitable process creation method, create diagram plays a very important role. The create diagram option is suitable in case we are familiar with the high level process and we are comfortable creating the workflow diagram first and then fill it in with the captured actions start with the create diagram approach in case the process we want to document can be described as a complex so whenever we are working with the complex data or complex flow we have to keep in mind we are familiar with the business level steps of the process and translate it in the diagram plan or first want to develop the process and its variation and then capture the process and its actions of each sequence. Our aim is to create comprehensible and ready to use process MAC diagram, that is PDD. So let me give you the advantage of this steps. So it is fast and easy to use method that allows us to control the outcome right from the beginning. It spend less time refactoring the process map after it's been recorded. By observing the process throughout the recording, we can discover other automation opportunity that we might have overlooked. Second is capture process. So by accessing the capture process, the recorder is immediately launched. This enables us to go through the process while the tool capture screenshot of our every click, hotkeys and keyboard input. So whenever we are using flowchart or any any action or activity, it's always getting recorded whatever action we are taking. If you are pressing any keyboard like uh, keyboard buttons like space or bold or shift or enter, it is got automatically recorded. Once we completed the process based on the type of action we captured and the environment, the tool automatically creates the workflow diagram. So it starts with the capture process approach in case the process we want to document can be described as linear. Our aim is to capture and focus on the process action that can later be used for documentation purpose rather than automation initiatives. Advantage is retrieve in easy and fast way to the actions need for completing our process allows us to get the process quickly documented. Second part is recording the actions and documenting the sequence. 
So always rely on the pause button to omit action that are not relevant for our process and capture only ones that are important. So like if you have doing multiple actions which are not in the relevant part, better to avoid that. To generate information, easy to use process maps, it's always recommended to capture less than 50 actions per sequence. Otherwise, what happened, it will become too complex to use and remember in further part. The number of actions that can be captured is set to 500. And kindly keep in mind that this limitation does not prevent you from creating process with more than 500 actions. Its purpose is to provide best, best practices guidance in order to have best experience while using task capture. If you set more than 500, then also it will work, but it will become very lengthy to open up any diagram or the sequence when you will want to edit it or when you want to present it. Third is efficiently manage the recording action. So create diagram method and capture process method will work here. The action which we have regarded in order to document our process are the key ingredients of our workflow and it's very important to follow some simple rules to efficiently work with them. Depending on the method we choose to create the process map, different rules apply. Create diagram method will help for each step add a clear title and descriptions. Include as many details as possible while keeping them short. If needed, additional info can be added to each screenshot by using text options. Capture process method checks the title and description recorded for our actions and sequence update if it is needed. The goal is to have the info as clear as possible using the merge sequence options and this help to keep the diagram short and comprehensive. Handling sensitive data. So when we are working with any banking project or the application which collects user data is very important part. It is always to rec recommend to use high level security application which is provided by the UiPath in task capture. So by default task capture does not send any captured or user data in any cloud storage. Keep in mind that this behavior does not include uploading the capture process in automation hub and test manager or UiPath studio as this is done upon our specific request. The capture data is stored in .ssp file which is zip archive containing two data JSON files and a screenshot folder. The JSON files are the ones storing the data of the capture process including the options or actions, title, descriptions, diagram, metrics, metadata about captured actions. The metadata for each action includes only the first letter of the keyboard input. If during the capturing process, we type our password or other sensitive information, only the first letter is stored in the metadata.json file. The action title and descriptions are stored as a complete string of the value of the document.json file. This means that we have to manually remove all the sensitive data captured in these spaces. Since making sensitive data during the recording is not a build in functionality, we can follow the option this type. In order to avoid sensitive data that might have been caught during the capturing process and included in the PDD file. So if you think that sensitive data might be captured during the process, we recommend or the experts recommend try recording the needed information using dummy data. If this is not possible, we can pause the recorder while we handle sensitive data, still keeping in mind that the steps our make will not be available in the diagram. If we want to accurately capture all steps made and cannot use the data during the recording, 
after the diagram is created in task capture you can carefully hide all the sensitive data that might be captured in our screenshot or using the blur options another option is to manually remove captured string from the action description property in case it contains any password or sensitive information so that's all about uipath task capture this is the expert opinion provided by various organizations who is regularly using these tools this is a very secure tool for creating your pd diagram or recording your step of actions which will help you to avoid manual work so this is all about your part task capture best practices hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching